We missed the turn, but we gotta have coffee. There's a coffee stand here, you know, at this time of day, it's really cold. We need some energy here. We need something warm. Okay, there it is, for sure. Yeah, first dose so far. Now we're alive. Now we can go on for miles and miles after this, so. So glad, tastes so good. I got the soy milk. It's a coffee bravey. Medium, oh man, it just hit the spot. So. This is our motor home. I wonder what Shasta doing over there inside. Poor baby, she is so sick. I gave her a little bit of Tylenol so she would not have so much pain. Um, we didn't find any vet office, so we will go and drive around later on and find it. That's why we brought, that's why I brought my uh, SUV for this. So anyway, we got out of that little shop over there. It's got grocery inside, restaurant inside. And uh, $36 later. Anyway, here's my map. This is the map that I'm following right here. Right in front of me on my iPad Pro. So that way I know where we at. The sun is not even coming out.
awesome. That's really cool. See RPI right here, Resort Parks International, Coast to Coast. We are a member of that. And um, it's like $4,900 to be a member. And then you pay $119 a month. I mean, a year after that. But it's kind of like a health insurance, you know. So when you try to use it and park, you got to call that number, the RPI numbers. And then they'll make a reservation for you. And then, um, and then they'll tell you what's availability, which is kind of awesome to see if there's hookups, water, sewage, uh, electricity. It tells you all of that. The reason why it's international RPI, I know it doesn't work in Asia or anything like that, Europe, no, it doesn't work. International means we can go to Canada and we can go to Mexico uh, for like $10 a night. If we are not a member, if you are not a member and then you go to the campground, something like this, um, it would cost us 49 for up to $50 a night. So that's pretty outrageous. That's why we went ahead since now that I'm retired and my husband is retired. So we just decided to um, sign up for this membership because who knows, one of these days we might go to Mexico or Canada. I know that um, we want to do that. So, yeah. So this is the gate. You cannot get in there until you punch in your number um, to get in and I'll show you where. everything back to the motor home and getting uh, all the power the sewage the um, the water hookup and we just got that one done and uh, now I'm gonna they give us a Wi-Fi access for um, two dollars and 24 cents a day so that's not too bad we're only here for two days um, this this um, RV park here cost us $30 and um, just to be here because of our membership RPI membership, so that's all it cost us. But anyway, so um, I'm gonna show you what my um, number 38. Um, dryer. There's a dryer right here. There's six dryers and three washing, no, four washing machines, and it costs uh, to la to wash clothes. It costs. see right by my wheels on this vehicle wheels there's a black rabbit and they're pretty tame because people feed him but anyway there he goes I know somebody told me that there's a hiking place several places to hike but I wasn't into hiking today or for this trip here in this uh, particular campground and uh, I'm not so familiar in here and I don't know what's you know what it's like here so and um, Right here, if you have a dog, you can turn him loose here to run around um, without the leash. So, hello. Just taking video. <laughs> so this is the uh, dogs that can run around without their leash, which is kind of good. But you know, I would not take my dogs in here. Who knows what other dogs has? They probably have ticks or fleas and I would not take her here. So she's just as sick as she is now because it may have been because I put her on the same place at the previous um, campground and she got really sick. Maybe that's why she's sick right now because of, I turned her loose and something like that because you don't know other dogs to see if they have their shots or not. Who knows? But so this is the main entrance here. This is the gate. They give you a code to get in. Otherwise, you can't get in. And if you put, if you give your code away to your to somebody so they can get in like visiting with you then there's a $25 fine so hi Kelsey Kelsey just subscribe on my um my YouTube channel and it's so cool she asked me for it and uh, that was really awesome so 
You're here on vacation too, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's here on vacation. Um, are you in high school? Yeah. Yeah. So we're from Olympia, Washington, and um, they're here. So we just met up, and uh, she asked me for it, and that's pretty awesome. Thank you, Charles. You have a great day. Wonderful. That's yeah. the way out. And if you have, if you empty out your propane, you can also buy propane here. Um, that's a tennis court, and this is the front of the clubhouse. This is where we check out or we check in. Doesn't matter, we're not checking out. We're just gonna drive out because everybody should know that, you know, they give us a tag time. There is no beach access in here and I'll tell you why there is no beach access. Because one of the person who bought the property where the beach access is, is an attorney. So they sued uh, this camping ground, campground. I'm not taking a picture of you. I just have a YouTube channel, that's all. Um, and so they sued, so they won. So that's why he's got the um, access closed out because they sued. Okay, uh, we're still at the Nesquin RV park. We're getting ready to leave. And uh, we're gonna do a laundry stop before we go, but that's gonna take about at least 45 minutes. for watching my channel and my video channel and uh, if you don't mind to if you like the video please click on, on like subscribe and um, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you for uh, traveling with us and uh, God bless and take care